latest video is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. Thank you for each of you who are a supporter on Patreon. You thinking about supporting Delta Bro Production and his community? Think about Patreon. Each month we're doing a giveaway for only the Patreons. We're giving out a game that is worth usually around $50 or more each single month for you guys for saying thank you for being part of my Patreon supporters. Head over to www.patreon.com slash Delta Bravo Productions to get all the information. Hello guys, Delta Bravo Productions. Welcome to step number two in building your button box, designing your button box. How big you want your box, how many buttons you want to put in there, and how to make everything work out. I'm not going to show you exactly how I do it. I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how you're able to do it. Um, my process is not complicated, but it's like doesn't really make sense. So I'll tell you what makes sense and how you should do it. So you have two options. Option number one is to buy a box and then hope everything goes in there. I sometimes do that. I have no comments, but that's how it is. Or step number two is to actually draw out how you want your buttons to be laid out. So let's say you want four buttons there and you want another four set of buttons here and you want two toggles right here. Well, that's how you're gonna design it. Now the question is how big you need your box? Well, to find out that you need to know how big you want your switches. So you then go on the internet, go find a switch and it will usually give you all the measurements of that switch so the height and then how big it is uh, in depth and uh, in width and length and all that good stuff so then you just have to calculate how much does four switches go in length and in height so when you've done your layout you have to just remember one thing your depth of your box okay you don't want to get a box that's correctly sized like this but is only this thin and then you put in your switch and you have no more room to put anything else under which is your controller so that's something else you have to make sure that you uh, take a look at is how high your box is for example this box is not too high so if we mount the switch here it doesn't give us a lot of room here, though I do have a cover, and that's where the brain is going to lay. So then when you do actually put that there, see there's way more covers. The only thing also you have to also remember is the wires do take space. Okay, One wire doesn't take a lot of space, as you guys can see. It's pretty small. But when you start putting 10, 15, 20 wires like this into a box, will start taking a lot of space. So one way of reducing the um, reducing that is to cut down your wires to the length that you actually need because you know you don't need that much length in a box or is to make sure that your box height is big enough. I'm more of a a visual person so what I tend to do is just take my box and then I'll just lay in there my buttons that I want to put in so let's say we do that like that so that's how my buttons are going to look like and then I know that I want to put my bus buttons right here so on and so forth and that will give me an idea on how on how to uh, design it and if it fits now to transfer that into reality here you would then just turn your box on the other side take a ruler that hold on i need to go find here in my toolbox oh, there you go could take a ruler like this to take take a normal ruler i like those ones because you're able to actually make really good lines with it and then you would design it like that take a pencil and design your lines 
And then let's say you do that like that. I'm doing it just a rough uh, estimate here. You can, you know, make it as good as it is as you want. And see, then you would drill holes to those plays. And then that's how you would put in your switches. So designing it, there's no right or wrong way. Uh, you need to find a way of doing it. There, that was just, you know, helps a uh, little tricks on how you're able to design it. There's no right or wrong way. If you're good with uh, paper and measuring it and designing it that way, you're good. I'm more of a visual person, so that's why I tend to more buy the box already and then, you know, try to figure out everything in there. There's many different boxes size, by the way. That's another box size that is one of them. Um, there's many of them. I'll put a link down below in the description on where to find them. Amazon is one of the good places to find them. eBay also, but eBay, they come from China. It takes a while. Uh, sometimes not what you see uh, is what you get. You also check your local uh, electronics store. Some of them do actually uh, sell boxes, project boxes like this. So that could be an idea to, for you to go get them. So guys, that's it for uh, step number two. It's that simple. It's just, you know, tips and tricks. And step number three will be actually uh, doing the holes in there and then mounting everything. And then after that, uh, we'll probably have another uh, last video, step number four, plugging everything in and uh, testing it out. So stay tuned. Till then, take care.